One of the most exciting features of Booker's Accelerate package is the access to Frederick's email builder. Whether announcing a new service, sending a monthly newsletter, or just saying thanks, Frederick's email builder makes it quick and easy to reach all your clients at once. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to build and send email campaigns with the help of Frederick. This fun and creative marketing tool will allow you to create your own emails with pictures, texts, and links to keep your clients up to date on what's happening at your business. And best of all, you can do this directly from your Booker account. For example, we've noticed that sales for facials aren't doing so well, and we decide to promote it to remind customers. We can do this easily with a scheduled campaign. To start sending email campaigns, Click on the Marketing tab, which takes us directly to the Frederick page, which is right where scheduled campaigns are found. Click New Campaign to begin. Building an email with Frederick's scheduled campaigns is done in three easy steps. Choose the template, add content, and schedule it to send. First, choose one template from several different options. We'll pick Announcement for this example and tailor it to our specific needs in the next step. Now it's time to edit the template. We can be creative here and edit the text, images, add buttons, and more. Notice the templates are made up of individual content blocks that can be edited by hovering over them. If we want to replace any of the images in the template, click on the image and then click Upload Image. We can choose a new image from the expansive stock image library or our own from the computer or social media sites we have connected here. We can move this whole content block up or down on the template with the up and down arrows. The X icon will delete the block. We can add another content block to the template by clicking the plus icon that appears on the top and bottom here. Whether it's another text block, image, or maybe just a spacer to make it easier to read for clients, we'll have many options. With the new block added, we can add content. To add photos to the block, click on the image box. A pop-up will appear that will allow us to upload an image and add a URL to connect the picture to a link. Now it's time to add some text. Click on the section to edit, and a toolbar will appear with plenty of options to customize the text. Adjust the alignment, change the color, size, and font style with just a few clicks of the mouse. Add a personal touch to the email with the help of merge tags. This can increase the likelihood of someone opening the email. Merge tags are short bits of code that we can add to these emails and upon launch, they will automatically insert the corresponding data. For example, using the first name merge tag will automatically insert the first name of the recipient of the email. Pretty cool, huh? Here's how to insert a merge tag. In the text box, click on the area where we'd like the personalized text to appear. Click on the Merge Tag menu button and select what data we'd like to add from the dropdown. The merge tag will be added into the email. Please note that if the merge tag has been added successfully, it will appear blank in a test email. If you'd like to see the merge tag in action, create a test list containing just your email address and schedule it to send. Merge tags will only populate once the email is sent. Don't forget to add links to the buttons. Click the button and we'll see the toolbar appear at the top. To add a link, choose the link option from the toolbar. We'll see the box open where we can enter the link and the display text. Then click apply to save the changes. We'll want to do the same for our social media sites and add the URLs to the images to make sure customers can easily access these sites. Click the social media image and add the URL to each one. It's easy to see that the customization options are endless and completely up to you. Once the email design is complete, it's time to preview and test that campaign. Click Preview and Test to send a test campaign to make sure the email looks and works the way we want it to. Just enter the email address here and click Send Test Email to check out the newly created campaign. If we like the way the preview looks, click Next, and we'll finish the last few details and get the email campaign scheduled. Before we schedule the campaign to go out, we need to choose which customers we want to send it to. We can choose all contacts or choose from a specific contact list. If we pick contact lists, we can choose from any of the lists available in the dropdown, like members, for example. 
We'll get to contact lists in a moment. Last, we need to customize the campaign info and schedule it to launch. Give the campaign a name, something easily recognizable. Enter a subject line and make it catchy so customers want to open it. Set the date and time for the email to go out to customers. Once we're done, click Schedule to finish up and schedule the campaign. Once the email launches, we'll be able to monitor its performance on the campaign's dashboard. Next to each sent campaign's name, we'll find its corresponding statistics. How many contacts the campaign was sent to, how many of the contacts opened the email, and how many of the contacts clicked a link in it. Targeting the right clients is important for successful marketing campaigns, and we've made it easier than ever with contact lists. We can find contact lists here below campaigns in the Frederick page. Notice that we've pre-populated some helpful ones into the account, which is why we saw different contact lists while creating a scheduled campaign. When browsing the contact lists, we will notice that there are different types of lists that we can choose from, but they are all made a little bit differently. Have a few people in mind you'd like to send a special offer to? Frederick's static list is a great way to target a specific group of clients to send a scheduled campaign to. Let's create a list of VIP clients that get early access to promos and new services. A static list is the only list of the three that allows us to handpick which customers are on it. To create a static list, click the plus button on the left and then create static list. From the pop-out on the right, name the list VIP for this example and click save. Next, add contacts to the list. Click all contacts at the top of the list of contacts on the left. Check off the boxes next to the names of clients we want to add to the VIP list. Once that's done, click on the drop-down menu at the top of all contacts and choose the VIP list to add these contacts to it. And that's it. The save is automatic once we pick that static list from the drop-down. Whether offering a special birthday discount or promoting a referral program to our biggest fans, Frederick's Smart Lists allow us to target clients based on data that's imported directly from your Booker account. A Smart List is a list that is automatically created by Frederick, which means that it will automatically update as clients meet the criteria, so we won't have to worry about manually updating. We've already populated the account with some smart lists which we thought you might find useful. For instance, if we'd like to send a special promotion inviting current non-members to join, Frederick has a regularly updated list of them ready for us to send a scheduled campaign to. But you can also create your own if you don't see one that meets your needs. Let's create a list to send to our customers that have birthdays within 30 days. To start building a smart list, click on the plus button on the left and then create smart list. The smart list builder pops out from the right side. There are three filters to add from when building the list criteria, contact field, interaction history, and contact list. The contact field allows us to add a field name based on the fields in a customer's profile. We'll see several options here and we'll choose birth date for this example. Next, the operator appears, which is the relationship between the field name and the value, which we don't see yet. The options for the operator will change based on the field name we're using. For this list, we want is within for the operator. Then the value appears and this determines whether a customer belongs to this list or not. These values also change depending on the field we choose. Remember, we're creating a list of customers that have birthdays within 30 days and we want to enter in 30 to set this up correctly. We can drill down even further by adding more than one filter. We can add a history interaction filter to choose clients that have or haven't had a certain interaction type based on what we see in the dropdown. For example, we can use this to send it out only to customers that have booked an appointment within the last year. If we add a contact list filter, we can use one of the other existing smart lists and choose customers that are in or not in them to further define this custom smart list. As you can see, there is a ton of customization available here for us. By using additional filters, we can target very specific groups of clients. After we've finished editing the criteria for the list, click the Add button. Then give the list a name and save it. 
Once the list is saved, it will appear in the Smart List section of the Contact Lists. You'll be given the option to choose this list when using scheduled campaigns in the future. A system list is also created automatically by Frederick. These lists are also automatically updated and maintained based on a client's interaction status with Frederick Marketing Messages or subscription preferences. Get familiar with this new feature. It's an effective retention tool that you now have. If you have questions, visit the Support Center. We have added new Support Center articles that cover this new feature. Register for and attend one of our upcoming live virtual trainings hosted by our training team to see this new feature in action. We are excited to see how the Frederick Email Builder helps your business grow this year. Thanks for watching.